What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I'm bringing you guys some DLC information for Advanced Warfare. I didn't expect to be bringing you guys some uh, DLC information this earlier on in Advanced Warfare's life cycle. That normally happens around the, uh, the end of January, that's when you should probably expect the first map pack called Havoc for Advanced Warfare to come out. And uh, But we actually got some information which is really, really cool and that is going to be a weapon which is included in the Havoc map pack that we're going to get early access to if you have a season pass for Advanced Warfare and if you're on the X Xbox platforms because I'm sure as you know Xbox get early DLC now this is actually a weapon that we're gonna be able to get access to if you have a season pass on December the 11th so of course the map pack is gonna come out sometime in January and uh, this is actually gonna be available to us on the 11th this is a weapon that's included in it it's called the AE4 and this is a directed energy weapon similar to the EPM3 and the EM1 laser rifles this is gonna be a very similar weapon except it's in the assault rifle category which means it can have much better speed and handling it's not gonna be very very heavy and clunky and slow to move about. This can be a directed energy weapon that's in the assault rifle category. If you have a season pass on both e uh, Xbox 360 or Xbox One, you're going to be able to access this on December the 11th, way before the DLC comes out. Similar to what they did with the Ripper back in Call of Duty Ghost, they gave us early access if you have the season pass, which is obviously the pass that allows you access to uh, all four of the DLC map packs that are going to come out. But uh, this is a very, very cool weapon. As you can see right here, you not only get the AE4, but it has one variant to it. I'm not sure whether you have to get this very through a supply drop whether you automatically get it but the variant is called the AE4 Widowmaker and it looks like it shoots kind of blue directed energy it looks like the original one shoots red you can see kind of like the red uh, core down the barrel and the the different one the Widowmaker looks like it shoots some kind of blue kind of beam out of it which looks very very interesting I'm interested to see whether it will shoot kind of like these uh, little blasts of directed energy or maybe it'll be a constant beam like the EM1 uh, it's gonna be very very interesting but uh, definitely let me know your thoughts about this weapon in the comment section do you have these Pass, you're going to pick it up after you've seen this. This is a very, very cool weapon, and uh, obviously, I'm really glad to see them adding more weapons to the assault rifle category definitely because I feel like there's not enough, especially there's only three automatic ones. As I've said, there's three burst fire ones, two burst fire ones, one single fire. There's only three normal full auto ones. I feel like there should be a bit more uh, kind of variation. So, hopefully, that even more within DLC. And of course, any more information about Advanced Warfare's DLC and stuff like that, I'm always going to be here bringing you guys the latest information. So, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest information and uh, make sure you give this video a like rating if you did enjoy it and uh, but this is a really really cool weapon the AE4 that we're going to be able to get hands on on the 11th of December in just around two weeks from now so hopefully you have enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you guys later